Kelly, President Trump just earlier today hosting a meeting with major blue chip CEOs to talk about trade. These CEOs are members of the Business Roundtable who are in town this week for the BRT's quarterly meeting. And we caught up with BRT Chair and JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon as he was leaving the White House earlier today. Here's what he had to say. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we had a productive meeting. What was your yeah. message to him on trade? Uh, we'll keep that private. Okay. Thank you. We're, we're in favor of getting the USMCA deal done. Wonderful. And we're going to do everything we can to get that deal done. It's very important for the United States, it's very important for the economy. So Diamond was coy there to our producer, Bria Cousins, when she asked him about his message to the president on trade. But Diamond earlier this week told a group of reporters that he believes that trade going south would be the biggest self-inflicted risk to growth in this country. And other BRT chiefs said that you know, they believe that tariffs are generally not effective, that they have had the opportunity to share that view with the White House on multiple occasions, but that the White House so far has chosen not to listen to that. Kelly? Kayla, we also heard uh, that Tim Cook was at the White House yesterday. We glean anything from what that meeting was all about? Well, Tim Cook is also a member of the Business Roundtable, and he has taken to traveling to Washington at the very least quarterly for these meetings. And he usually stops by the White House when he is in town for these meetings. A senior administration official told me that Cook frequently speaks to President Trump and frequently stops by the White House to give him an update on Apple's business and its own views on where we are in this trade war.